Hello and welcome to Concord Train's introductory video on the 1935 New Haven Comet Train. By now you should be familiar with all the historic trains Concor has been doing, including the famous 1934 Pioneer Zephyr and the just-released 1941 North Shore Electroliner. Visit our website at www.con.cor.com for information on all of our famous collector train sets. While the Union Pacific was running the M10,000 and the Burlington route was running the Zephyr around on Western Rails in 1934 and attracting huge attention from the public, the New Haven was quietly building a similar train for use on the East Coast on its trackage between Boston and Providence. It debuted in 1935. The Comet owes much to airship design as it was designed and built by the Goodyear Zeppelin Corporation a consortium of the U.S. Goodyear Corporation and the German Zeppelin Airship Company, with funds supplied by the U.S. government via the Depression-era Works Progress Administration. The Comet was a light diesel-electric streamlined train using a novel design. It had an engine at both ends of the train, so it was not necessary to turn the train at the end of each trip. Both engines operated simultaneously by a master control, and after the train completed the run, the engineer just walked to the other end of the train for the return journey. The train had a three-car tr car design to seat 160 passengers. In a test run of the Comet in April 1935, it hit a speed of 110.5 miles per hour, which was a record for any train in New England at that time. In its published timetable for the run between Boston and Providence, 43.8 miles, the Comet normal schedule was only 44 minutes, with stops included. But the Comet also was ran on other branches of the New Haven, including running into New York City on special excursion trips, so it would feel at home on most trackage in New England. While there were several paint schemes used on the Comet, our model will feature the introductory paint scheme as was done in 1935. The drawings shown here are early CAD CAM drawings in the design phase. We at Concor are still doing research on this project, and if you have any photos or other information on this famous train that you're willing to share, please contact our office. Some of the features of our Comet models will be fully assembled and ready to run three car train, historic paint and lettering, heavy die cast metal weighting, metal RP25 wheel sets, interiors in the number two and three cars as the first local cars taken up by the drive mechanism. All cars will be lighted. There will be a fourth add-on car available to extend your train. It will come with DCC ready NMRA medium socket set so it will be very easy to install either a function or sound decoder of your choice. The minimum radius will be about 22 inches in HO and only 18 inches in N scale because in order to make the model to look as authentic as possible we have to leave the side skirts on restricting the turning radius of the trucks. Notice also that we are asking for no obligation pre-orders. We are doing this because we cannot afford in this economic conditions to invest the huge amount of money needed to build the tooling and production on this model unless we are assured there's enough customers out there to make it profitable for our company. Therefore, you can place a no obligation pre-order with us as early as possible. A no obligation pre-order means that you can cancel your order at any time with any consequences. We do not ask for a deposit or credit card numbers in advance. Once the models are completed, we will contact you by phone or email and ask you to reconfirm your order at that point in time. This is going to be a great model. We hope you sign up early or tell your other New Haven fans that we are doing this model and to sign up as early as possible. Thank you.